Good day everyone, you're watching Rate You Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if you're not able to open Excel or if your Excel is going to a not responding state or if it hangs or freezes while you're working in the uh, Excel application. Now, there are a couple of steps which you can try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to go ahead and check if there are any Excel applications which are open on your computer or if it is running in the background. In case if there are any Excel application open, uh, go ahead and close this application. And there are also chances that um, though you're not seeing an Excel application in the taskbar, there are chances that the Excel uh, process would still be running in the background, which might have been used by the different application. So I would suggest you to go ahead and kill those processes. How do you do it? You can do a right click on the start button and then click on the task manager. Once you have the task manager open, go ahead and click on details. Under details, look for excel.exe. This is the processes running for Excel in the task manager. Do a right click and then click on end process free. And that should kill all the Excel processes for Excel in your windows. Once this is done, close this window and then try to open Excel and see if it works. If you're able to open Excel, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, as a next step, uh, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to go ahead and open Excel in application safe mode. Now, basically, this will allow you to identify if a third party application is causing a problem. So there are two instances, one could be an add-in, or there are chances that your printer could be a culprit to uh, keep your out Excel in a non-responding state. So to identify what we will do is, we will open Excel in application safe mode. You can do a right click on the start button and click on run, or else you can press a uh, Windows key and letter R simultaneously. It should open the run window. In the run window, you will have to go ahead and type the command Excel space forward slash safe and click on OK. Now, if you are able to open Excel in application safe mode, it is an indication that a third party application is causing a problem. Now, the first step, uh, what you need to do is if you are able to open application safe mode is click on the file button at the top left corner and then click on options. Under options, click on add-ins. Under add-ins, click on manage and click on go. And in case if there are any add-ins which are being checked, Go ahead and uncheck those add-ins and click on OK. Close Excel and then try to open Excel and see if it works. If it works, well and good. You don't have to try this uh, next step. Now, if you are able to open Excel, it is a clear cut indication that the add-ins were causing a problem. In case if you want to use those, in case if you want to use those add-ins within Excel, probably you might want to go ahead and uninstall those add-ins and reinstall the add-ins and see if it works. In case if it doesn't work, I would suggest you to contact uh, the manufacturer who has or the publisher of the add-ins and see what should be the resolution. Now, in spite of disabling the add-ins, and if you're not able to open application or Excel in normal mode. Uh, it is possible that your printer is causing a problem. So if you have a printer connected uh, to your computer, it could be um, HP or it could be an Epson or a Canon printer. If you have these, any of this printer connected, there are chances that uh, any of the printer drivers might be uh, incompatible with the office application and that could be causing a problem. So to identify what you can do is you can change the default printer from the existing one to a PDF. How do you do it? Um, now, in the search box, you can go ahead and type control and this should open the control panel, the best match for control panel. Once you have the control panel open, there are chances that your control panel might be in view by category. Now, if you, if you see this view, you may go ahead and click on the category view or else uh, on this window, what you can go ahead and do is you can go ahead and click on view devices and printer. This will show the list of devices which are added to your computer. Now, under this section, you can go ahead and click on printer and scanner. Now, here you will see the list of devices and printers which are connected to the computer. Now, if you have a printer connected, you would see that list under this section. 
Now, in my case, you would see that Microsoft Print to PDF is a default. Uh, in your case, it could be HP as a default. If you have HP, Canon or any of the printer, I would suggest you to change the existing to a PDF. So what you can do is you can select Print to PDF or XPS, click on the arrow and uh, use the option which says set as default. So what this will do is it will change the printer to a default to PDF. Once it is done, close this window and then try to open Excel and see if it works. In case if you are able to open Excel after changing the default printer, it is an indication that your printer drivers are causing a problem. So best thing to do is to turn off the printer, uninstall the existing printer drivers and reinstall it and that should fix the problem. Uh, in case if it doesn't fix the problem, uh, to as a remedy as an immediate remedy you can change the default printer from your existing one to PDF and try working Excel and and that should uh, allow you to work in Excel and um, once it is done then you can try to uninstall and reinstall the printer driver now in spite of changing your uh, printer if you're still facing a problem the next step what I would suggest you to do is to delete the uh, Excel startup file now to do this, you will have to open the run window. In the search box, you can go ahead and type run or you can press Windows and R simultaneously. In the run command, you will have to go ahead and type percentage app percentage and click on OK. That should open the uh, roaming folder. Now what you can do is click on the app data under this, click on roaming again and locate for Microsoft folder. Under Microsoft folder, you will have to go ahead and locate for Excel. Under Excel, see if there are any files here. If you see any files, go ahead and uh, select those files and delete it. In my case, it isn't there. And in case if there are any files here, you may also go ahead and delete this file. You can go ahead and delete this file and try opening Excel and see if it works. This should ideally fix a problem because there could be a startup file in the startup folder for Excel which might have gone corrupt and that is stopping you to launch Excel or it is um, make, taking your Outlook or Excel in um, non-responding state. So in case if you are able to open Excel, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now the next step, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and repair your office. Now to do repair your office, you will have to open a run window. You can do a right click and click on run. In the run window, you can go ahead and type appwiz.cpl. Basically, this is a shortcut for programs and features. Click on OK. In this window, you will see the list of programs which are already installed on your computer. Now you will have to go ahead and locate for Microsoft Office. Click on change. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. For the best result, uh, you, uh, I would suggest you to go ahead and click on online repair and click on repair. And this should repair your office on your computer. Now, after repairing your office, try to restart the computer and then try to open Excel and see if it works. In case if you are able to open Excel, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, as a last step, what I would suggest you to do is check for the Windows update. So, uh, see if there are any available Windows update, go ahead and install them and see if it works. To check for the Windows update, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. On the settings page, you will have to click on Windows update on the left hand side. Check if there are any available updates for your Windows. In case um, if you don't see an option, you will see an option which says check for the updates. Click on check for the updates, download and install them and restart your computer and try to open Excel and see if it works. If it works well and good. Uh, if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, Please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.